Hello, this is David Benaim. In this video, I'm going to show you how to get rid of the waiting room and passwords in Zoom meetings and other annoying settings that kind of have been put in. Uh, so they did change the default. In fact, if I show you what's happened here, they have now very quickly changed the defaults. It added new security and privacy measures to prevent Zoom bombing. So essentially, there were very rare occasions where someone would do Zoom bombing, which means that they would just join a meeting room and kind of cause havoc and chaos, and they weren't invited, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So as of April the 5th, which is yesterday, um, Zoom will turn on passwords and waiting rooms for meetings by default. Uh, for anyone with a free tier or with a single license on its cheapest paid tier, in order to prevent Zoom bombing. So I'm gonna show you what that looks like and then how to prevent it as well. So in Zoom, here I am in a meeting and I'm going to start this waiting room and password meeting here. And so I've started that and then I'm going to get the link with someone else. So over here, this is the URL. You'll notice that it says PWD equals blah, blah, blah. That is actually the password that's embedded in the link. So if they join through this link, they won't need to put a password in. So if I join it there, and then, yeah, it's it's by default gonna make me launch the application, but if I press cancel, and then <laughs> click here to launch the meeting, and then cancel again, I have this join from your web browser option. I'll show you how to make that easier to do. As you can see, it automatically puts that password in there. So if I press join, it doesn't ask me here for the password because I use that link that automatically has it, but it does say, please wait, the meeting host will let you in soon. So if I go back to the meeting room here and I go to my actual meeting, I can see that there is someone waiting in the meeting room, in the waiting room, sorry, and I click here and I can see that myself, David Benheim is there. If I click admit, then he'll join like this, and I'll see here that is let me na in now, and now I can join it in the normal way. So that is the default setting, but it can be kind of annoying, so let me show you how to get rid of that. So what you can do is you can change the settings. I'll show you how to do it from the desktop application and also from a web browser. So if you go to create a new meeting, so I'm gonna click here, schedule meeting. And if I go to, I can untick meeting passwords uh, and then I can go to advanced options and I can undo enable waiting room here. So no password or waiting. And then I can press schedule, show meeting invitation. I'm just going to sort of click this link, copy it. And then I can start this meeting as the host. Now, if I go to my web browser, I'm going to enter it there. I'm gonna press cancel. And the other thing that's interesting here is that if I join from a web browser, it actually now asks me to sign in. It didn't used to do this. So it prevents anonymous users signing in and getting into the meeting, which is interesting because the other market leading applications like Microsoft Teams, Citrix, WebEx, don't force you to sign in. They do allow to have anonymous users. So I guess Zoom expects everyone in the world to have a Zoom account, which is uh, interesting. So I'm gonna sign in there and put in my name. And now it allows me to join without using the waiting room. So that is how to do it for a one-off, but there are some better ways to do this if you do it from the web browser. So if you log in on zoom.us here, uh, and then you go to settings, there are different kinds of settings that are worth exploring. So in schedule meeting, I like to allow to join before host. I think that's useful. And over here, there's a bunch of stuff about passwords. So just switch off all these passwords, including for different types of meetings. 
Um, this is embed password in meeting link for one click join. So this is uh, a, about whether the PWD thing is in it uh, at the beginning, like I showed you or not. And then require password for participants joining by phone. I'm gonna switch that off, keep going. And you eventually get to waiting room. So it's an in meeting advanced waiting room, switch that off. If you wanna get to it faster, you can press Control F on your keyboard and just search for waiting room and then you can get there much faster rather than scrolling up and down. So a couple of other useful settings to turn on or know about, mute participants upon entry. So I tend to turn this on because that way when people come in, they're automatically muted. That's a pretty good one. Join from a browser link. So allow participants to bypass the Zoom application download process. And that is just to avoid the situation that I showed you before, which is that it forces you to click no multiple times before you get it. So it's just a nicer experience for people joining from a browser. So if I go to meetings, schedule a meeting from the web browser. I showed you how to do this from desktop. Now we can do it from the web browser. And yeah, the require meeting password is off, but you can turn that on if you want to optionally and enable meeting room is off as well. Let me also just look at some previous meetings. <laughs> so this is a, a meeting that I had done before. So I'm going to click on that and edit it. And here it has the password embedded into it like that as well. So you can, if you want to edit things, and you can um, say you want to require a password, turn that on or off, and you can also edit it and say the waiting room is on or off. So if you have anything that's scheduled from before, Zoom has said that it's automatically turning on both of those features, so you will want to disable them for your current meeting that you've already pre-scheduled. All right, so I hope that helped you. Uh, if you like this, then I have tons more videos on my YouTube channel. So please like the video, share it if you want, and subscribe if you want more stuff. I've got videos on Zoom, on Microsoft Teams, a lot on Excel, a lot on PowerPoint, and Power BI and other computer applications as well. All right, thank you for watching.